Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And if you're new here, my name is Edward Smith and welcome to my YouTube channel. And as a lot of you guys have requested, in today's video, I'm going to be unboxing and reviewing the Kali Audio LP6s. As I mentioned in my last video, this whole week is dedicated to studio monitors. So if you're someone looking to purchase a pair or you're interested in a pair around $350 to $400, this whole week is about studio monitors and comparisons. So make sure you smash that subscribe button down below so you don't miss any of these uploads. But without any further ado, Let's get into this video, have a look at these Kali Audio LP6s and see if they're really as good as everybody has been saying. So when you unbox these studio monitors, you obviously get the studio monitor itself, you get your power supply and cable to power up the studio monitor, and then you also get some paperwork, which is not that important, but it does include your warranty. So if you just wanna keep that in a safe place, that will be a good idea. But in terms of first impressions, as always, like I say, I'm a big fan of getting a bigger studio monitor for a lot less. And the Kali Audio LP6s obviously have a 6.5 inch cone, so you are gonna get a lot more low end and bass than a five inch cone at the same price of five inch cone studio monitors like the Yamaha HS5s, KROKs, Adam T5Vs. These studio monitors are in a very competitive market, but because they are giving you that bigger size at even a cheaper price than some of these smaller studio monitors, they have been doing so well and the hype has been so big. And in terms of look and design, these studio monitors, in my opinion, aren't the most beautiful, but one thing that Kali Audio did really well here is they kept it clean and basic. I like the all black finish, they didn't put any unique colors or anything like that it's just straight to the point and all the focus is on getting a bigger size studio monitor with a decent look and getting it at a very low cost so that we can get these studio monitors in our home studio setup and afford them so the whole look isn't amazing or anything at all but i do like the base reflex port here in the front i like the layout and the design it's clean, natural, and exactly the way you want it, especially if you're buying budget studio monitors. Moving on to the back panel of the studio monitor, as you can see, it's pretty basic again, nothing like the KRK Rocket 5 G4s where we had that LED screen and that kind of modern touch. But one thing that is quite unique with these studio monitors is all of these pictures and how they correlate with this white and blue switchboard. It seems like you can set up these studio monitors for your specific scenario. For example, if you have these studio monitors on the stand, a certain distance from the wall, if they're on your desk, just small little features to help you set up these monitors more specifically for your room and your scenario. And I don't know exactly how well this works or how it works together, but it is a nice thing to jump around with and just see if you can get your room to sound better and have your monitors fit your situation better. And then other than that, we just have our TRS and XLR balanced input. Remember, you need to use balanced cables when setting these up. It's very important. Otherwise, it just doesn't work that well. And then we have RCA connections for your cheaper type audio interfaces. Personally, not a fan of RCA connections. And then we have a volume knob over here, which isn't the best of quality, but when it comes to studio monitors, you're not gonna be changing your volume that often. Usually when you set them up and take the time to do that, you're changing your volume, you're doing all of that. And then as soon as you got the right volume, you'll probably leave that knob for months before you fiddle with it again. And then last but not least, we have our input and our power on and off switch. So pretty basic, nothing crazy. You can see that Kali Audio is really focused on trying to keep costs down by bringing in all these modern touches and just really focusing on the sound and getting these studio monitors at a very low price and giving you a lot more, which I'm always a fan of. But before we jump to the big hype and conclude that these studio monitors are amazing, it is time to first do the sound quality test. And as you guys know, I do not like to do a sound quality test without comparing the product that we look at to something else, because in my opinion, it just helps give you a better perspective whether or not these studio monitors sound better or worse. So for this specific video, I'm gonna be comparing these Kali Audio LP6 to the K Rocket 5s. I'm just gonna jump between them and then you can decide whether or not you think they are better because they are actually around the same price, if not cheaper than these Karakays. They are bigger, so you are gonna have a little bit more low end, but that's all for you to decide. Let's jump into that sound quality test and see how good they really are. Always think of you when spring comes Like it's something in the air Thank you. 
So for my final overview of the Kali Audio LP6s, I have to say that overall I am becoming more and more of a fan of Kali Audio. I love the fact that they focus mainly on the sound and trying to give you a lot more for a lot less. Yes, you're getting the 6.5 inch cone at a very good price, even cheaper than the Karaoke Rocket 5s and Yamaha HS5s and Atom Audio T5Vs and the sound is definitely better in my opinion as well. You're going to get that extra low end which is going to help you get a better sounding overall mix. You're not going to have to worry about getting a sub for anytime soon either and in my opinion if you're someone looking to purchase a decent pair of studio monitors at a really good price that's quality and that's going to last you a good amount of time these Kali Audio LP6s are going to tick that box. So to conclude this video of my unboxing and review of the Kali Audio LP6s, I would just like to remind you that if you are interested in these studio monitors, I have them linked down below. I will also have the KRK Rocket 5 G4s down below if that's the product that you preferred over these. Also, if you have any questions about today's video, just leave a comment down below and I'll try and get back to you as soon as I can. But other than that, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Stay tuned for more studio monitor videos coming and I'll see you for another one next time.